Yo k o s o Japanese Quest to it. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues. As you can see, we here have a map of video game Japan. So, welcome. We started Japanese Quest almost two years ago in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Learning Japanese from games, we went to Celeste, Mario Odyssey, Harry Potter in Japanese, Breath of the Wild, Stardew Valley. Say k e n d e n z a t s u and now Dragon Quest XI. So we've come a long way, and the hope is that as we make progress in video game Japan, we also make progress in a different Japan, but connected Japanese language Japan. The idea with this stream, by the way, I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira, Akira Sensei. I've been a high school teacher in the US. Uh, I've taught immersion Japanese. I've also been a Japanese translator to English. And the hope is, as we learn from games, we can also level up in the Japanese language. You can see N5, N4, all the way up to N1 of the JLPT. So the deeper we go into these games, the hope is we will. Get more tools for our toolkit. If you want a metaphor for the game we're playing today, Dragon Quest XI. In this game, you have two bags one for items, one for equipment. You might say that in these two bags, we have one bag here, we put in vocab to this bag, we have another bag for equipment that you use more as a tool. Don't you love my amazing drawing? So we pick up vocab, we pick up grammar, we break down sentences as we go. Let's stop this horrible drawing, let's get into the game. So, welcome everyone to a new chapter of Japanese Quest that begins right now. My name again is Akira, Akira Sensei, so we'll go here. Unbox this, konnichiwa. If you decide to play through all of Dragon Quest XI, just the demo, we'll see.、Uh, it's not out yet where I am, so right now we are playing the demo. It's free, by the way, and about 10 hours long, so tons of content. Maybe the biggest demo ever. So check out the demo. You can get it on the Japanese store. You can play this game in Japanese for free for 10 hours into it. And just see how you like it. That's kind of why we started this stream. Goody Box, yo k o s o Japanese Quest away. Yellow Ninja, Konbanwa, Genki desu yo. I'm doing well, how are you? So, Encantium, what island is that? Kyushu's the southern one. Ah, HJK, o a i g o z a i m a s There's the world tree. We had another world tree in Xenoblade 2, the first game we played. A lot of world trees. We had a tree of mana, the last game we played, Sei Ken Dentatsu. By the way, we didn't finish it because we got stuck in the ice dungeon. But I thought that was a good, good time to start this game. Because this game happens to come out tomorrow. And we got stuck in a dungeon anyway. Which is not going to give us much language. Our focus is always language on this channel. The goal we collect words, we collect grammar as we play, and our power level. Goes up. Yokoso! g e e f r i e r welcome. One word equals one point of power level. The words you see down here are words from earlier games you played on Japanese Quest. Lakuen, for example, means heaven or paradise. It came from Xenoblade 2. We may get some more traffic today because I did make our Reddit post. In the Dragon Quest subreddit and the Learn Japanese subreddit. I'm not sure they have any upvotes. If they do, we might get a bit of traffic from there, just so people are aware, because I thought this might be of interest to people since it does come out tomorrow. People could get this game in Japanese, the free demo. It's 10 hours long, and you can just try. And the great thing about this game, it has Furigana. And check it out, it's beautiful. k 
れですね。このゲーム。I heard this logo here is a reverse of the original Dragon Quest game. Like in the original, the dragon was over here. Uh, this dragon was over here. Let me draw the dragon a bit better. By the way, the dragon is kind of the mascot of this channel. We have a mascot dragon emote. If anyone subscribes, you can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. If you subscribe, you can unlock this dragon emote, which is good for this game, since we are now finally playing Dragon Quest. So let's get into the game. Not my best dragon drawing I ever did on this channel, unfortunately. Tutoru, yokozo, Japanese quest. Welcome. Okay, let's check where we are here. By the way, this is a new game. How's the volume seem? I feel like the music in my headphones is a little loud. Does it seem okay? Here we have Boken. Means adventure. So Boken o Hajimaru, or in this case, Boken o Hajimaru, to begin your journey. Let's begin our journey. Let's turn our music down a little bit. How's that seem? So let's begin. Hopefully the dialogue will be loud enough. So here we have. Again, we see the word for adventure, boken, boken no shou, boken no shou o tsukuru. So shou just means like a, basically an adventure log or a quest log. By the way, the thing that's great out here, I guess we can't do, but、uh, fukatsu means to be revived. So fukatsu no jumon. Jumon means spell. So it's like a re revive spell. And I'm not totally sure what that's about. Ah! Eperod, Yokoso, Japanese Questway. By the way, anyone else who is here, feel free to follow. And you can join us, become a party member also on Japanese Quest. The hope is people can help each other out, create a positive, fun learning environment.、Um, Armander now is here too. Let's draw Armander.、Um, Armander has a bit of a powerful arm. I don't know, maybe in the shape of a Charmander. I don't know.、Uh, anyway, you can join as well. And the hope is, as we play games, we can learn Japanese, we can level up in the game, we can level up in real life in Japanese as well. Ah, wolf. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's go. Okay, so it's not being used right now, so let's jump in. It just says at the bottom, Nanban no boken no shou o tsukurimasu ka. So, which number would you want to make for your quest log? Let's just do the first one.、Um, for the name, let's see. What can we use for the name? You can have kana, you can have katakana, or hiragana. I think I might go with my Japanese name. So, a lot of people who might be new here might not know me. So, I'll go with A Ki La. By the way, this is my Japanese name. I picked my first high school Japanese class many years ago, but it's stuck. So, you can call me Akira or Akira Sensei. And then we will say Owaru to end the naming process. I think technically his name is just kind of Hiro. In Japanese, Yusha, hero. Armander, you liked your arm there? <laughs> I did my best. Akira de yoroshi desu ka? So, are you okay with Akira? Yes, let's do that. We will say hi. And again, the goal is as we play, find some new words, level up. But in general, as we look at sentences in game, break down these sentences. In context, and just see how the words fit together. Let's see here. So, this is talking about how the demo, you can only play 3D mode, so we're gonna do 3D, 3D mode. So, let's just jump in there. 
It's just kind of a setting that we don't probably need to read all of that. So, boku no hajimemasu. So we can start our adventure. Hi! In 3D mode. 2D mode, of course, with the non-demo version you can do as well on the Switch. We are on the Switch right now. We can say, hi! 3D mode is okay. Okay, so now it's asking us about some settings. Here's a keyword here. Sette. Settings. Uh, so what kind of settings? Kankyo no sette. So environmental settings. Uh, and we can always change these, it says, in the saksen, which means um, strategy section, like the options. Okay, this, this screen is very important. So this screen we are going to look at carefully. Not Pereira, yokoso, Japanese customer. Anyone know, by the way, what this graphic is for new party members? One of my favorite ever JRPGs that I have played in English and Japanese. Okay, so this is very important. Again, what we're talking about here is the playing environment. Kankyo means environment. Kankyo sette. King Mail, Yokozo, welcome. Okay, Furigana ga, so message ni Furigana o hyoji dekimasu. So you are able to display Furigana on messages in this game. This is very important if you want to learn Japanese and easily look things up. So words like this, for example, to display hyoji, you will have Furigana. It's a little small here, but you can see it above the kanji, spelling them out. Uh, so you can say suru, do it, or shinai, no furigana. The cool thing too, you can switch back and forth. So if you find a certain word you really don't know, you can switch back. So we will say suru. See, check it, you can see right there how it, whoop, the furigana appears and disappears. For a first game in Japanese, it's not essential. My first game I played was, uh, that I got all the way through, it's Final Fantasy X. I did not have furigana. But still, I enjoyed it and got a lot out of it. But it certainly helps to look things up. So it's great it has the option here. The PlayStation original version, I believe, did not have Furigana for Dragon Quest. Ah, the kitty cam. Kawaii desu ne. Griffin is the kitty's name. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. So here we have camera functions. You can read camera and katakana. Kamera, kamera. And then so sasete, so the control settings. So we have tate, which means vertical, yoko, which means horizontal, and then ido, which means movement. So vertical movement, we can just say normal for both. Normal is in uh, katakana there. And by the way, welcome again to Neo. The other option is reverse, bibasu. And then for auto movement, you can do auto, auto, ido. So auto movement, suru or shinai, or shinai. So to not do it, we'll say shinai. Suru just means to do, shinai means to not do. So let's not do that. Looks like it's default. To not have auto movement. And then this is an option to go back to original settings. Uh, shoki means original. And then we can say kette when we made our decision. This is a, a word you see in a lot of Japanese games because you make a decision, that's what you use. Kette. Uh, TM Boli has joined. Yokoto, welcome. Uh, let's show you one new thing, all these new people. Let's jump into our power level, our power level word learning leveling up system. Landy, welcome. For this one, we still have the bigger uh, menu for the new people joining. Okay, so let's take a look here. This word... Kette. By the way, this is Jisho Dictionary. And sometimes we look up words during stream. You can see it's an N3 word, a common word, so a great word for us to learn. Good word to know, and a word you see just a lot in games. And we copy that to our clipboard using Rikai, you just press C. 
add it to our power level list. You can see our power level list here. We're at over 1,000. The goal, of course, is over 9,000, which is fluency in a language. You need about 9,000 words, which is convenient for us. So here, let's level up. And wow, I cannot believe it, but this word we have not learned yet. If we had learned it, it would show up green as a duplicate. So we programmed duplicates to show up with a color. For example, let me show you a word that we for sure have learned. Someone in chat, just say some random word that we for sure have learned. Let's just see if this functionality is working here. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't even know if we have for sure learned that though. Unboxes. Let's type that into our dictionary. Kakugo. So resolution, readiness, something you hear a lot in anime. For example, you can say, Kakugo shimashita. I am ready. I am resigned for this battle coming up or whatever. Yeah, Neko we definitely have. That we learned in our first 50 words. Let's see if we have this word though. If we don't, maybe we can even learn this one for fun right now. But yeah, no, we have learned that. Resolution, you're right, Unboxious. Unboxious might know better than me because I think they did our uh, the Anki deck for this these words. Let's try Neko. Neko, cat, definitely learned it, so good. Power level has gone up to 1341. Let's make that power level go up. Look at the lower right corner. Power level is going up by one with the power of decision. Kette. You can say kette suru. Sudo verb. And now let's jump to the world of Japanese quest. Don't be freaked out. We're going to change scenes quickly. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? So Nappa, right now our power level went up. Our power level is now 1341. This is the world of Japanese quest. You can see here, Japanese quest no sekai. Sekai means world. Um, you can see all these words. Neko, mori, forest, umi, sea. All the words we learn, that is what makes this world. This is a, a, a world built with language. A world between video games and real life. You have real life, you have video games. This is a world somewhere in between where we are. We're all in this place right now. We get words to it. We can level up the goal over 9,000. Anyway, let's just jump into the game. Let's make that decision. So next thing you can do, uh, brightness. So, akaroi means bright. If you add sa, it makes it a noun. So brightness, again we see brightness settings. Akarosa sette, gamen means the screen. So we can go with uh, more dark or more bright. I think it looks fine the way it is. So let's just say again, the word we learned, kette. <laughs> uh, Unboxes in chat says, ended up doing too much on key, hurting my wrist, switching to a lighter phone just for flashcards. Nice. Yeah, I eventually, I did on key for years, but now I just read Japanese books. Uh, but I did it even for a year after I passed N1 of the JLPT. Uh, Ani, welcome. Yokoso. But I think eventually, if you get to near native level in Japanese, probably you don't need to do on key forever. Um, I like doing it to over 10,000 words, personally. Um, just gotta do it every day. And some people don't even like Anki, that's fine too. Some people just read or talk to Japanese people. Okay, so at the bottom we see Kono akarusa de yoroshi desu ka? So are you fine with this brightness? Hai! The final kankyo setting, the final environment setting there. So we should be good to go. Okay, by the way, this scene coming up is kind of a cinema scene, and uh, you cannot pause during it. So I will translate some of it on the fly, and it's not much dialogue, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Um, so we'll just bear with me. Ah, this is another cool thing. If you do get the demo, again, it's free, it's 10 hours, you can play it in Japanese on the Japanese store. Ah, Yami Neko. You wish you had someone to talk to? Well, one thing, you could join the uh, Japanese Quest Discord. 
You can find some people to talk to there, like maybe... This person here. Me, Kerm, they could join as well. Um, yeah, people mostly talk on English there and trade resources there. But maybe G speaks some Japanese, they could uh, speak Japanese with you there. So join the Discord. Can anyone link the Discord? I don't know how to link it. We used to have a command, but for some reason it seems like that's not working right now. So welcome, everyone who's following. Yokoso! Japanese Custaway. But anyway, the cool thing is you can continue your save on the full version of the game if you have the demo. Again, the demo is 10 hours. You can get it on the Japanese store. So you can play this game with Furigana for free and just try it. See if you like it. If you like it, get the full game. Highly recommended. It's a great game. Daikon, yokoso. Welcome. We are leveling up today with our party today. Party members, our party is growing greatly. So here we go. Anyone find that Discord link? Anyone wants to join our Discord? I guess it's linked to the top of the Twitch too. Welcome everyone joining. I won't say the welcomes during the scene. I'll be quiet for a bit. Let's have to translate. But welcome everyone. Yokoso. Japanese customer. Ah, there's the Discord link. Arigato. Curious. Yeah, the North America, you can play the demo, but you need to get it from the Japan store if you want Japanese menus. And Japanese script, Japanese reading. So that child, he has the birthmark. There is no mistaking it. You can see the birthmark there. Aza is the word for birthmark. Aza, Aza. Don't worry, normally we'll stop when there's dialogue that sticks around for longer, we'll break it down, but for now we'll just watch this scene. Man, not good. Yeah, if you want to find the demo, you need the Japanese store, and I recommend Googling how to get to the Japanese store and make an account for it. It's not hard. I Googled it myself, and they just, many sites tell you how to do it. You can Google it, then you can get the demo very easily. It's free. Highly recommend doing that. There's other great demos too, not just this game. For example, this visual novel that I love called Raging Loop. It's an amazing long demo as well. Also voiced. Raging Loop is called. It's coming out in English actually for the first time in a month. Raging Loop, it's called. Highly recommended if someone's up to visual novels in Japanese or wants to try it. But back to Dragon Quest. Taki is a waterfall, one of my favorite things. So why is there a baby here? And in that storm? He's actually okay? Ah, oh, he's smiling. Could it be? This child? There, there. Being all alone must have been lonely. You don't need to worry anymore. This world is... Beautiful. Tonikaku kide. 
So, Judo Kunengo, after 16 years, still has the birthmark. Aza, again, is the key word, birthmark. Speaking of that word, we should add that word if we have not yet. Can anyone check our power level list to see if we have that word, birthmark, Aza? If we do not, we need to add it first. We have it on Bakshis, thanks. Okay, here we go. So now we can actually break stuff down because now the lines stop. By the way, welcome everyone who's joined. Yokozo, Japanese quest away. So thank you, Akira. Again, my name is Akira Sensei. I'm a Japanese teacher in the US. I'm a native speaker of English, not Japanese. So occasionally I will make mistakes. My Japanese. I'm not a native speaker of Japanese. I have passed the highest level of the JLPT years ago and I've translated and taught Japanese professionally. Uh, but making mistakes are good. In chat, you can make mistakes. I can make mistakes. We can learn from mo those mistakes. So she's saying, thank you, Akira. <laughs> okay. So let's look at the key here. Often it helps to look at the ga particle. Because you know the core of the sentence is often around there. The ga particle marks the subject of the verb that you're going to have. And the verb at the end is often very important as well. So she's talking about this scarf. You can see scarf here in uh, katakana. Scarf. So scarf ga kaze ni tobosare chao nante. So I can't believe my scarf would blow off in the wind, kaze, right before the coming of age ceremony. Uh, gishiki means ceremony. Maini um, means before. So before the ceremony, gishiki no maini. I can't believe that my scarf would blow away. And then at the end, she's saying here, I'm really clumsy, aren't I? Doji is the keyword here. This word we maybe haven't learned yet. Why don't we add that word to our power level? Welcome everyone. Cheyenne, Heart, Mystic. We got some new power members. Power members, I can't even speak English. Uh, party members, I guess they could be p power members as well. So let's go to our power level up screen here. And I'm thinking that word doji, we don't have yet. Let's look it up in the dictionary. This is a useful word you do see a lot in things like anime games. Okay, so as you can see here, doji. It's usually katakana. Can, can mean blunder, but it often means like a clumsy person. So she's saying, honto doji da yone. So I'm really clumsy, aren't I? Ah, uh, cross, good question. So, watashi teba. So it kind of means like, as for me, I'm really clumsy, aren't I? Ying dog, welcome. So well, let's take that word, let's press C, copy it, add it to our power level list, and see if we have not learned this yet. Let's make our power level go up. Wait a minute, we should have had it in Kana. Did it transfer it to Hiragana for some reason? Yeah, it did. Let's just try it in Katakana, make sure. So we've not learned that yet. Clumsy, blunder. So power level has gone up again to 1342. Let's go back to the game. Yeah, good question. Feel free to ask questions in chat. Sometimes I might not see it if chat's going too quickly, but other people in chat can answer it as well. There's a lot of people of various levels of Japanese in chat. For the past two years, we've developed a pretty strong community here. And uh, the hope is it can be a positive community um, where people help each other out. Everyone's at different levels. That's a good thing. You can get lots of different perspectives. Uh, yeah, good question. It is shared. All of our lists are at the top of the Twitch page. You can check it out there. If someone wants to link it in chat, you can do that too. We have a sentence sheet and a, also a word sheet that we mainly use. Yeah, you can follow the sheet. Uh, we have an Anki deck of the first thousand words. 
So check out those lists. We got a few other lists too if you want to check them out. Ooh, so that's the ceremony. So finally, the day has come. We have to climb this rock. That tall place. Can we really climb it? Uh, right now, I'm reading a Japanese grammar book for Japanese people. Uh, and I find it really interesting. They broke down grammar in what I thought was an interesting way. I'm going to use two colors to show what they do. Uh, what they explained was in Japanese, there are two parts of a sentence. There's the actual events that are happening. In this case, climbing this mountain here. So, Takai Basho, tall place. Watashi ni nobodere, so to be able to climb. And then what they explained in this book that I thought was interesting, that I haven't really heard before, that often on the outside, there's kind of emotional information, like how they feel about it. So kana means like, I wonder if I'm able to climb it. And like this nda here means kind of giving new information. Like the day has finally come. So that's giving, whereas here is just the kind of raw facts. So often in the middle you have these facts, these raw facts of actions that are happening. And then on the outside you often have this, these feeling words. So anna means like that kind of, kind of giving a sense of that kind of tall place. Burb, konnichiwa. Saru, ohayo. Anyway, so will I really be able to climb? Let's find out. Uh, what is the name of the book? Good question. Uh, I got it in the Japanese Amazon store. I think it's called Nihonjin no Tame no Bunpo Nyumon or something like that. It's some kind of Nihonjin no Tame, meaning like for Japanese people. I don't remember the title exactly, but it's something like that. And I thought it was pretty interesting. It's all in Japanese, so uh, if you read Japanese books, it could be pretty interesting. As a Japanese teacher, to me, it's quite interesting. I, the reason I got it, it had very high reviews from Japanese people. Four and a half stars. That's what I go by. I want books that are highly regarded by Japanese people. I read those reviews first. Four and a half stars is usually a solid book. <laughs> okay. So, Luki. Here's a name. Luki ga. So the, the uh, dog here is gonna guide us, it looks like. Here's the verb, annai suru, to guide. So the dog will guide us, I guess, to this trial. Ah, did you find it, Curios? Thanks for the note. Yeah, that looks right, if that's what it is. I didn't totally remember exactly the end of it, because it's. I just remembered the first part. Nihonjin no tame, meaning for Japanese people. So a Japanese grammar book for Japanese people. So let's go, Akira. So iku to go, iko. Let's go. And then sa. You'll see this a lot in Japanese games and uh, in anime and things and just in everyday speech. It kind of just means like, well, let's go. Hachi Scrambles, welcome, Yokoso. Okay, we saw the scene there. It said, Kami no Iwa. Kami means God, and Iwa means like the boulder or kind of mountain here. Twin Dragon, welcome. Okay, now so we're finally able to move in this world. This is my favorite JRPG in a long while, Fudo4 says. Nice. What are some of your other favorite JRPGs in chat, by the way? We need to think about other games we might play for Japanese Quest 2, and other people can get suggestions. Morga, welcome. Oto, matte matte. So, wait, wait. Matte means wait. Matsu is the verb to wait, and then matte is the 
kind of a command form. Um, Akira, doko e ikunda? So, Akira, where are you going? So, e is a direction marker pointing to a direction. So, where are you trying to go? Is marked with e. Uh, mada, seiji no gishiki o owarasete nai dado. So you still haven't finished the uh, the coming of age ceremony. Let's break that down because we talk about this a lot here. Seijin means coming of age, or can kind of just mean adult, and then gishiki means ceremony or ritual. Have we streamed Pokemon games? Not in a big way. We did stream actually Pokemon Quest. We're called Japanese Quest, so kind of like streaming games with Quest in the title, like Dragon Quest, for example, this game. Uh, so we did play Pokemon Quest for just one day, but I think that YouTube might have taken down that video. Like, I can see it, but I, it might have been taken down for at least some regions because of copyright. I don't even know. So after that, I have not, because I'm afraid that I'll get my Pokemon videos taken down for some reason. I don't know. It's the only video that ever happened with, so I don't understand that. Um, Fudo says, I like the Kiseki series. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. And Persona 4. And Persona 5. Good suggestions. Monster Hunter World, yeah! A lot of Japanese streamers play that, so I'm aware of it. I've hosted a lot of them. I've not played it myself. Okay, so he's saying here now... This is the name of the village. Ishinomura. So Mura means village. And then, so what about this village? Kaeru no wa mara hayai. So it's still too early to return to the village. Kaeru, to return, and then hayai, too early. You see zo at the end, to kind of mark it as an e emphasis. Hayai zo. It's really too early, you should not be coming here. In other words, we can't go here. Uh, so the god rock is the other direction. Sa, ganbatte itte kinasai. So do your best and, and go. Big fan of fighting games like Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah, that game. I haven't played it, but I saw that game on the Japanese eStore. It looks pretty cool, I think. That AI Somnium Files. Looks like an, an interesting Japanese to it, an interesting story. Yoko's a welcome. R3N. Okay. Konnichiwa. Akira to Emma mo mo, 16 sai kan. What you're already 16 years old? Kodobo kodobo no koro, futari de muraju o hashiri mo watte ta no ni. So even though you were just children running around the village, tsuki hi ga tatsu no wa hayai mon da na. Time really goes quickly. This is kind of a cool word here. Notice two kanji combined. Moon and sun together, tsukihi, can mean time. Actually, that's such an interesting word that I don't think we've really seen on Japanese Quest. Why don't we check that in our dictionary, see if we can add that to our power level. Here we go. Daybread TV, yokoso, welcome. By the way, if anyone else here teaches Japanese on their channel, on Twitch or on YouTube, make a comment. People can find you. We try to connect all Japanese teachers, all Japanese learners here on Twitch the best that we can. All Japanese learners, speakers, teachers are connected. We gotta support each other, help each other. Uh, so, where were we? Okay. So, again, check it out. N2 word, but it's a common word. Just because it's N2, don't be afraid. Um... N2 words, N1 words are often very common everyday words. Uh, so we have the kanji for month, the kanji for day or sun. Put them together. Kind of makes sense, right? Moon and sun alternating. That is very literally what happens with time, right? You have the sun, then you have the moon, day and night. Cool, welcome, Ying. So let's copy this, add it to our power level. We will now power up with the power of the moon and the sun. Useful powers. You can see there's a different reading there. 
Uh, let's go with the reading here, though. You notice there's another possible reading. Dapi, date. Let's go with Tsukihi, though. Tsukihi is moon. He is sun. And the definition here is time. Years, days. So let's type that in manually. There we go. Let's jump back into the game. Our power level has gone up again. Look at the bottom right. It says our power level, how many words we've learned so far on Japanese Quest. The reason we have this is a way to chart progress. Every one word is one level up. Kind of helps to have encouragement. Benchmarks like that, ways to feel your progress in a language. My power level in most languages, like Chinese, my power level is like five. What does the scouter say about his power level? Scouter says her power level is going up. Power level is now. Sen Sanbyaku Yonju San. Tsyokunatane. Power level has gone up. Anyone else joining? You are also a party member here on this Japanese quest. This is the world of Japanese quest. We now have the power of the sun. Check it out. The power of the sun. And the moon. You combine them, it means time. We've unlocked that power, sounds like that could be useful. Konnichiwa. Kore kara, so from now. Kami no iwa o noboru desho. So from now you'll be climbing the the boulder, the, the mountain of God, their local mountain. Tochu uh, de. So on the way, Tochu, this means on the path. The first kanji means path, and then Chu means during. So Tochu de, if along the way, the, uh, the path is quite steep. Michi ga kewashikunatari suru kara. So kara. Because so because it becomes quite steep. Kiyotsukete, be careful. Irashaine. So yeah, go and be careful. So so, ikoto oshiete So this is kind of like a teaching game systems thing, probably. So e means good, ikoto, so good things. So let me teach you something good. Oshieru to teach, like what we're doing right here. So I'm right now teaching Japanese. In this case, she says, the te form plus I'll get it to give. So, oshiete I'll get it. So I'll teach you a good thing. Yorimichi nagara susumuto oshikashitara imono. So again, we see e for good. This time, though, we see mono, which also means things, but for like actual. Physical things, we can find physical things like treasure, for example, if we take other paths. Mitsukeru, to find, and then kamoshire, means maybe we can find that. Uh, CyberKitty says, what level of Japanese could you need to play through this game at a chill, relaxing, moving speed? It's a good question. It depends on what you mean by that. It's What it comes down to is your level of motivation for the game. If you're super motivated, you can play the game even if you know, like, a few words in Japanese. It comes down to like how much you want to play. Your motivation can carry you through. Yeah, all the VODs are on YouTube. Check out our YouTube. If someone wants to link it, that would be awesome. Subscribe. We have new uh, exclusive content there too, like we're breaking down menus in Japanese. So, uh, but to be comfortable, I don't know. Often it's said that an N3 level or an N2 level to kind of comfortably play through games. So that's somewhere between 600 to 1,000 kanji and probably three times that in vocab. So, you know, something in that range. But it's it's there are no clear, hard, and fast rules. 
。よし。こんにちは。いよいよ。So again, we're seeing all this stuff about the same thing. This is the cool thing about Japanese games. They're like a built in kind of a on key system in a way. Because you get repetition of all these words. But the cool thing is, it's all in context. It's all. They're words that have emotional weight to them, which makes them easier to learn. And you can connect them to images in something you might love or care about, which makes them easier to learn. Because really, that's what learning is it's hooking on new information to things you already know. If you know about games, that can be an easy way to hook on new things. So that's really why this channel exists. So again, we're getting repetition on this. Seijin no Gishiki, the coming of age ceremony. So again, Dochu on the path, Kyo t s u k e r u n d a So be careful. Same thing as the other person. Oke ga shitara. So if you get injured badly, Motto mo ko mo nai kara na. So this is kind of a set phrase, meaning, so yeah, if you get injured, then it will all come to nothing. It's going to be a bad situation. Um, waffle. We now have a waffle that has joined our party. Welcome. We welcome all waffle based usernames. And then now Emma is saying, Daijobio, don't worry, it's okay. Akira ga ishito dashi. So Akira, Akira is with me as well.、Uh, Akira ga ireba kowai mon nashi o. So, nothing is, a, is scary if Akira is here. The key adjective is here. Kawaii. Scary. And then, mon means like things. It's making mono a bit shorter to mon. And then, nashi means nothing. And then, yo is to give emphasis or new information. Cyber Kitty, you are welcome. Ha ha ha. Emma chan no yutori. It's just as you say, Emma. It's a useful phrase. Yu means to say, and then tori means as you say. So just as you say, you're right.、Um, Akira no ken no ure wa tashikara. So he has some skills with the sword. A ken means sword. You see our. Ken here. Sometimes they're also called Tsurugi in some games that we've played. Another variant of reading for that same kanji. Ken or Tsurugi. And then Ude just means arm. So you can imagine you can imagine his arm here swinging the sword.、Uh, so Ude can kind of mean your ability with something. And then Tashka is certain, so his abilities, he's got abilities with the sword. So, Akira, Emma chan o yoroshikana. So, I leave, so take care of her. I leave her to you. Konnichiwa. So, we're going to talk to probably most of these people at this point in the game, at least early, just because the focus here is language. That's why this exists. Language comes first, gaming comes second. But the hope is we can kind of unite them and learn, level up in the game and level up in Japanese. Do I live in Japan? No, I live in the US. I lived in Japan for two years. I was on the JET program teaching English in a Japanese high school. It's a great experience. At that time, I kind of became a language monk, studied all the time, went from N5 level to N2 level in about nine months. So if you want self study tips to go hard, I can help you. <laughs> Rabbit Fire, Konnichiwa. And then after that, I came home and、uh, got better by taking that same kind of、uh, energy, putting into becoming a Japanese teacher and translator.、Uh, Keisog, welcome. Yokoso, Japanese Questway. Okay. So now we're learning some more about this,、uh, this holy mountain. Now we're learning about. So we saw this before the holy mountain, Kami no Iwa.、Uh, But here we see now the wall of the Kobe, Mount, the Kobe Mountain. Or the Holy Mountain. Why did I say Kobe? I don't know. Maybe it's because we're getting so many new people, like Bacon Lord. Like Bacon is coming into my mind and、uh, getting in the way. 
from time to time. Yokozo, Japanese customer. It's good to have bacon though. So Kabe, wall. So on the walls, what is drawn is the spirits of this land. So Daichi no Sede. Sede means spirits. And then Daichi means the land. Chipo Jo Yokoso. Japanese customer. Hmm, we might actually reach a record in this stream of adding more followers than ever before in a single stream. I think. Ooh, we got a dragon! Dude Man Jonesen has summoned a dragon. The most ever was a hundred one time when we were doing uh, Stardew Valley in Japanese. That time I made a Reddit post too. This time we could possibly reach it again. I don't know, but we're getting some mojo. But uh, yeah, some people are di are gifting subscriptions and subscribe with Twitch Prime. So yeah, if you have Twitch Prime, you can subscribe for free and summon a dragon. It's especially appropriate. It's always a dragon, but because this is Dragon Quest, that's kind of perfect. Let's get some dragon hype in the chat. Don't worry, we'll get back to Japanese in a second. But thank you again for subscribing. Helps to build... Uh, Japanese teaching hype on Twitch. All our videos are also on YouTube. Trying to upload a YouTube video every day, at least for the next week. So you found us on the Dragon Quest subreddit, so welcome. Everyone from Reddit, everyone from... Uh, Twitch, Yokozo, Japanese customer. Thank you very much for the sub. So, what is the Ishinomura Bito? Naganen, Mimote Kuresaru, Daichi no Sere Samani, Seiji no Gishikyo Tsujite, Kamcha no Inorio, Sasaka Te Kurunda. Okay, so when you get kind of a long sentence like this, it can be hard to know where to start. I recommend starting, if you don't know where to start, at some particles that you do know. For example, the O particle, you know that some verb is happening and then this is the object of that verb. So in this case, we're talking about villagers, murabito, villagers. So the villagers are doing something. Uh, what are they doing? Um, so they're not doing anything. It's actually... The spirits of the land, Seire again is spirit, watching over the villages for many years, Nagaden, many years, and then through this coming of age ceremony, uh, Tsujite means through it, so through that ceremony, we give our thanks. The key word here for this sentence I would say is really this, a big part of the Japanese culture in general, Kansha, thanks. And so what kind of thanks? A prayer of thanks. Inori. Prayer. So, kansha no inori. So, really, if you find a hard sentence, break down and try to find what's the core idea of that sentence. In this case, kansha no inori. So, a prayer of thanks. Uh, and the way they give that prayer of thanks is through this coming of age ceremony. So, today, what we're doing, we're climbing this mountain, we are giving thanks to our ancestors, to these spirits of the land. Uh, Dude Man Jones been looking for something like this. Yatta! Ureshi, I'm glad. Good to hear it. Been studying Japanese for a year, ramping up study with kanji and vocab. Cool. Yeah, we've had a lot of people on this stream who are also doing the same thing and also that do Wani Kani. So, welcome. Okay, so where were we? We're going to this big rock. Oh, uh, this person looks special because they have... Ah, they've got something they're just saying before we talk to them. Ganbatene. So do your best. Ganbaru, to work, do your best. Or to work hard. Ah, uh, Cyber Kitty, good question. Yeah, I, I do own the game, the English version. Unfortunately, if you want both, you would have to buy both. Because, for some reason, the English one has all these languages. I think it even might have Chinese, but it does not have Ch Japanese. And the reason for that is simply because the Japanese one is a lot more expensive. It's like... like almost 9,000 yen, I think. And uh, so they forced Japanese people to buy that one at the Japanese store. And so for Japanese, you need that at the Japanese store. But the good thing is, 
There is a demo, and it's 10 hours long, and it is free on the English and Japanese store. So get the demo. You have 10 hours. If you're reading a new language, who knows? It could be 20 hours. Uh, you can play it for free. If you like it, then you can buy it. But yeah, some of these games you see here, this is the demo I'm playing right now. It's not out here yet. It's coming out tomorrow. Uh, but for example, the first game we played in Japanese Quest, Xenoblade 2, you can see right here. I had to buy this game in English and Japanese for the same reason. Luckily, some games we played, like Breath of the Wild, uh, this game had both languages. Please, if any game developers are watching, try to do this with all games if you can. Can you please make all games have all languages? Let's level up language learning. Let's level up languages in the world at large. If you're watching this, you can do a service to the world. Some things are more important than money. Language options, language, all languages connecting. That's bigger than money. So I'll get off my soapbox now. Okay, konnichiwa. Uh, Dan Soncho. Okay. So a lot of times, too, when you're reading a Japanese sentence, the first word can kind of key you to everything that's going to happen. In this case, Soncho, the village headman. So Son, this kanji means village, and then Cho means tall or like the, the chief. So uh, the chief of this village, we know it's something about him. So To, Antano Okasan. So our mother as well, Okasan, mother, her name. Peruda. Ga. So the two of them are doing something. We know ga. They'll take some verb. So they will see us off. Mi okuro to kaidan no ede matteru. So again, we have a yo, marking this as kind of new information or something she's emphasizing for us. Uh, where are they? Kaidan no ue. The top of the stairs. Kaidan means stairs. Ue, the top of. So somewhere. Up here. Sa. Hayai toko. Oiki. Okay. So, go up there. Baru baru. Yokoso. Welcome. Uh, so so. Moshi. Nani o suru ka. Wakaru na katta ra. Atashi mitai ni. Fukidashi no iro ga. Pink no ito ni. Okay. So, the key word here is a word that might not be very common. But for people that know about manga, you might know it. Fukidashi means like a, a word bubble you might see above their head. So if you see a word bubble that's pink, pink, the color. If you see a word bubble above their head that's pink, I guess that's the wrong color. Uh, this is a bit closer. Um, talk to them, they can give you important information. Mayotara, so if you get lost, uh, y button no oshite, press the Y button and you can look at the map. Chizu o minasai. Chizu means map. Sore de fukidashi no iro ga, pink no hito ga, doku no iro no ka o shiraberu to iwa. So yeah, then you can investigate who has these pink bubbles above their head. Sore kara chizu o mitte iru toki ni. So then when you're looking at this map, if you use the R stick, you can uh, change your direction and it's very convenient. Again, kind of last word often in a sentence can also often be key in Japanese. In fact, that book that I'm reading, Japanese Grammar for Japanese People, a book I'm reading in Japanese, uh, what they said is the core of the Japanese sentence is in the last word of a sentence. And it's always three things, a verb, an adjective, or a noun. It's also called the predicate. You have the subject and the predicate. But what's really important, the core of Japanese sentence is the foundation, you might call it, is at the end of the sentence. So often if you look at the end of a sentence, it can help you understand what that sentence is really about. So what is this sentence about? It's about something that is very convenient. Totemo benli. Benli means convenient. And then the other thing they explained in this book that it's not something I didn't know, but the way they explained it I thought was quite logical and broken down. 
So the cool thing about Japanese, you have this core at the end, this foundation at the end. Everything that comes before that modifies that. So you can look at what comes last and see what modifies that that comes before. So in this case, you can move those keys, you can change your direction, and that is what? That is very convenient. Totemo benni. Okay, let's try doing that. So in down here we can see if we press Y, Chizu need it. So let's press Y. Okay. So we can see our map. Again, Kami no Iwa. So the the mountain of the gods. And then Fumoto. Ooh, this could be a word we could learn. What do you think? Have we learned that word yet? It's a useful word. This is a word that reading Japanese books I see all the time. By the way, I have I have this challenge for myself. I decided I would read 100 Japanese books before I read another book in English. And I realized that wasn't enough once I did that. Now I'm up to around 150 books. This is a word that you see all the time. I wouldn't say all the time, but if you're reading books about mountains or just nature, you see it a lot. N2 word, common word. Fumoto. The foot of a mountain. So let's add that today. We have not learned it yet. Good. So let's level up with that word there. Let's go back to the game. Okay, this is cool because this is your uh, adventure guide. Boken Gaido. Boken means adventure, one of the first words we learned on Japanese Quest. Because that's what we do here. Nihongo de. Bokenshio. Let's go on adventure in Japanese. That's kind of our catchphrase. Ah! Got it! Hisashiburi ne! Konnichiwa. Good to see you. We're playing a, a new game today, a new chapter. Um, I remember you from our streams back in Breath of the Wild. If you want to check that out, the playlist is on YouTube. We now have a playlist for all of our episodes. We're on episode 185 right now, I think. Sherwood, Yokoso, welcome. By the way, Gade, how's it going? Played any Japanese games lately? Good to see you. Uh, so this is the guide, this is what we do. Kami no iwa e mukao. So go to the, the holy mountain. Graceland is joined, welcome. And uh, on our map we can see that where we need to go. Kami no iwa. Bone Junkie, welcome. Uh, we have some options here. We can zoom by pressing X, let's try that. Zoom. Nice, we can zoom. Um, if we press R, Boken Guide O, Hihyoji. So take away the Boken Guide if we press R. Let's try that. Just take away our guide in the upper right. Good. L, Icon, Hihyoji. So take away the icons. Okay. So there's our options. Let's uh, go back to the game. Ooh, let's try the thing she told us though. Let's. Uh, so you can move around and you can see the arrow moving. That is really convenient in this game, just like she said. Totemo benli. Very convenient. And I would agree, more games should do this. Because so many times, if you can't do this with the arrow, it's hard to figure out what direction you're pointing sometimes. Yeah, Burb. Good question, Burb. Iwa generally means like a boulder, but it can mean kind of like, I'd say a mountain, a mountain on the smaller side. It generally means a boulder. Uh, God, it says, meant to get around to watching these uh, Xenoblade 2 VODs. Oh, nice. Yeah, that game took a while to get through. Washimo uh, Wakai Koro. So now we know. Let's uh, look at his pronoun here. Washi. That's used more for kind of older characters. So, it's the first time we've seen this word. So, Washimo. So, when I was young, he's saying. Wakai koro. So, wakai means young. Uh, koro means a time. So, when I was young, I also did the coming of age ceremony. So, even now, I can remember it clearly. So, which word here means clearly? That kind of jumped out in my brain. 
sometimes I just do a... What my brain is thinking when I read, there's kind of research that shows if a skill reader explains how they read, like what clues they use, that could be helpful to, uh, to newer readers, if there's newer readers here. Other people in chat, if you have tips, feel free to give them. So, Hakiri, clearly. So, Hakiri to obuaru. So, to remember clearly. Obuaru is the verb. And then he's saying, ooh, there's a dot, dot, dot. So, there's something suspenseful. So, at the top, there is something, but he's not telling us what. So, the suspense is kind of building up as you talk to all these different people. Ah, uh, yeah, this is also kind of like old man speech. Oruwai. So, oru means kind of like, uh, Idu. Um, and then Y is kind of an, an ending that's kind of old man type of speech. There's different kinds of speech for different kinds of characters and games and things too. Ah, sure would. Good question. People in chat may be able to answer that for you. But it, at the end of the day, it really is just a lot of practice by hand. Um, so we have a new word here. Chojo, the top. So the top of the mountain. Oto, ikanikan. Oh no, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Uh, so this is not something I should tell you. So if you want to know. So very useful construction here. Uh, the ba construction. Let's take a look at it. So ba. So shiritakareba. So tai means to want. Shiru is to know. Shiritakareba. This is the fun thing about Japanese verbs. What they're called is agglutinative verbs. And uh, all that means is they have different parts you can add to them. You have the verb ma stem here, shiri, to know. You have the ta, indicating wanting to know. You have the kereba, indicating if. So if you want to know, you need to see for yourself. Jibun no me de, so with your own eyes. De mark, saying with. So with your own eyes, you've got to make sure for yourself. Yeah, it's really great this game has Furiga, and I'm so glad it does for the Switch, because I think on PlayStation, the release before, it did not have Furigana. But now it does, and that is great for Japanese Quest and other people watching this video or stream right now. Whether you're watching this stream right now or watching this on YouTube a year from now, you can still probably get the demo and get Furigana, and uh, just try it out for free. It's like one of the longest demos ever. I mean, honestly, the demo by itself is like as long longer than some games. Ten hours for a demo? Some games are like three, five hours these days. Uh, so you guys get along well, don't you? So you've already become... You're already 16, aren't you? Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so we're getting a bit of a innuendo here. We have the keyword. Let's mark it. Let's mark it with a hard how about. Kekkon. Marriage. So she's saying you are now the age where you could get married. And then now uh, Emma is reacting to that. Mo. <laughs> so this is kind of a construction here to show annoyance. This uh Tara Uh So Ikinari all of a sudden, what are you saying? What are you saying all of a sudden? Asabit Yokoso, everyone else, welcome to Japanese Quest. Ahaha. I guess I was a bit too premature there. Akira, Emma, Chikaro, Awasate. So put your strength together. Gishiki ni idomunda. So and then challenge the ceremony together. 
This is a good verb here, idomu. To challenge yourself with something. Uh, I think that might be an N1 word, as I recall when I was studying Anki flashcards for N1. I feel like that one came up. Let's check it. Sometimes we look up words, add them to our power level list. You can see at the bottom there. Check it out. I was right. N1 word, Wanikani, level 42. Anyone who does Wanikani, have you seen this one? Um, to challenge yourself to something, to challenge to a fight. can be like to tackle a problem as well. Um, it is a useful word though. Uh, one cool thing with Chisho, you can look at sentences as well to get different kind of uh, context you might use it. Let's do a quick sentence search for Idomu. So she dared to walk the tightrope without a net. And so at the end, you see, again, the key word, the key verb at the end, ni idonda. Again, da, you see, is the past form. So she dared being the key one. And then what is tightrope walking, just for curiosity? Tsuna watari. Tsuna is rope. Watari, to cross, or to ferry across. So why don't we add that word to our power level? Let's go back. Let's copy that. And let's level up with the power of making a challenge. Nice. Useful word. So within when and one, there's some words that you don't use that much, but there's other words that you actually use quite a bit. I'd say this is one that's worth knowing. Okay, do you think we're missing any treasure here yet? Anyone played this game? Backseat gaming is encouraged on Japanese Quest. We always want tips on how to find things, if we get stuck, tips through dungeons, things like that. How'd you copy it? We use the Google uh, the Google Chrome plugin. It's called Rikaikun. If you just press C, you can copy it. Very useful. Okay, we have a couple people now with uh, exclamation points. So that's probably the, the chief and our mom. So we saw that they're at the top of the steps. But here we have a kid. Konnichiwa. Akira, seiji no gishiki suru no ka. So you're doing the uh, the coming of age ceremony. Ii na, otonate. Ii na, what, how great it would be to be an adult. Oida mo hayaku. Otona ni naritai na. I want to become an adult soon as well. Uh, let's look at that key sentence at the end. Otona, adult. And then ni is used for the particle to become something. Ni, not it, to become. And then tai, again, meaning to want. In this case, I want to become an adult. And then this na at the end here is just kind of a feeling of a, a kind of I wish kind of feeling. Again, I mentioned that often the kind of feeling words are at the end of a sentence in Japanese, giving a sense of the feeling of the speaker. Whereas just like the raw facts are more earlier in the middle of the sentence. Oh cool, Curious, the uh, game is also available on Steam. Good to know. Good to know. Buzzhoop! Yokozo! Buzzhoop, that makes me re remember the slam dunk anime and manga. It's like the, I think like the fourth biggest manga ever in Japan. Anyone seen that? It's quite good. Billy Bob, welcome. So let's talk to our, well, let's save our mom for after the mayor, maybe. Akira to Mago Musume no Hema. Ah, so they have a relationship. Uh, Mago means granddaughter. So his granddaughter, I guess, is Emma here. Uh, so the two of you, buji ni kono hi o mukairarete sonjo toshite sore ijo ureshi koto wa nai. Okay, so again, the key adjective here is this dude is ureshi. He is happy. Uh, so how is he happy? As a mayor, he is happy. Sonsho toshite. Useful grammar connector here. Toshite means as something. 
So noun, toshte. So as a mayor, I'm happy. Everyone else, Apoxa, Phantom, welcome. Yokozo, Japanese customer. Uh, so with this uh, coming of age ceremony, now that you're 16, So you will become a full-fledged adult, you will come of age. Apoxia, konnichiwa. Arigato. Neko. Kawaii ne. Okay, let's keep going here. Downloading the demo? Sweet. Ooh, let's uh, let's give a shout out. Mr. Right Now. It takes a while. It's a big demo. Like I said, it's 10 hours. It's almost like a full game in the demo. The full game is super long. Uh, I think it's like 75 hours. They're getting the demo right now as we're watching. Anyone else watching, whether it's a video or live, you could download the demo right now too. You could play in Japanese. The hope is this stream can make it easier for you to play the demo if you're just starting with Japanese games like I was. At first I couldn't read anything in the games and it was really hard. There was no help at the time. Dictionaries at the time also were not very good. But now dictionaries are good. The internet is much better. And uh, the hope is this stream can help blaze a path, a trail, that can help other people in this game or other games. So check out the demo. You can download it for free off the Japanese eStore. If you don't know how to get in the Japanese eStore, Google it. That's what I did. The explanation is kind of a few steps to it. So I don't know everything to say. I don't remember how I did it. Just Google it. So, dochu, we see the same word again, so on your path. We've seen this word so many times now, why don't we see if we've learned this word before. Let's uh, check if we've learned it before. Let's go to our dictionary. So, wait a second here. It's not letting me write because I have this Rikai-kun tool up. Here we go. So... Dochu. Like trip or like on the journey. Oh no, I pressed D, which made the definitions go away. That's not good. So along the way. Kind of like that along the way definition better that we see with the Rikai tool. Ultra light beam. Welcome. Ooh, not just a light beam, but we now have an ultra light beam on Japanese Quest. Welcome. I think we already had a light beam of some type. So along the way. Excellence, the new word. If it was a duplicate, it would show up green. So let's level up with that word. Let's make our power level go up. Look at the bottom right corner. Power level is now going up to one, three, four, six. Sen sanbyaku yonju doku. The goal, of course, is over nine thousand. Let's go back to the world of Japanese Quest. What does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now. 1346. Okay. Ka san! Akira! Okay, so we see the ga, so we know some kind of verb is going to be happening. And who's it happening to? It's happening to us, her son. That she's proud of. Jimon means proud. My son that I'm proud of. Koko made okiku sodatte okasan honto ni yo. So again, the key is the same thing as the mare. The same adjective. Ureshi. She's happy. And uh, this is a word we would learn if we haven't learned it yet. This word, though, we learned a long time ago. If you haven't seen this word, this one's probably good for your first hundred or so words to learn in Japanese. Cyber says, do we know how many Japanese vocab it is from JLPT N5 to N1? Uh, roughly, N5 is about 800 words or so, I think. Maybe 700. Um, it kind of goes up incrementally from there. N1 is, they say, about 15,000 words now. Burb says, linguistics paper. See you later, Burb. Good to see you. 
理解。エマちゃんは幼な,幼なじみなんだ,だからね。So, Emma is your childhood friend. Good word here. 幼な,なじみ。Means childhood friend. So, where do you see a lot in the anime? It's often characters from high school or childhood friends. あんたがしっかり守ってあげるんだよ。So, take care of her. We talked about this n earlier. It's often used for showing explanation. But in this case, it can also mean like a command. So he's, she's saying, take care of her. The verb, mamoru, protect her. Ah, Rick Hatchet, host, all. Arigato, thanks for the host. Also, Alpha, welcome to Japanese Quest. Moshi mo, michi ni moyote mo. So even if you get lost, again, Mayo to get lost. We saw that a couple times. Emma chan no t a y o r e r p a r t n e r So you are the partner that Emma can rely on.、Uh, Luki ni tsuite geba. So if you follow Luki, Mayo and I, Hazusa. So then you shouldn't get lost. Will these lessons teach you how to read hentai? I would say that a strong understanding of Japanese in general can help you read any Japanese genre, so the answer is yes. Sa, i t e k i n a So go and come back.、Uh, you are no tsukute, so I will make dinner. Materu kara ne, and I'll be waiting for you. Chikara o awasete, so combine your power. Chikara, power.、Uh, one of the first words we learned on Japanese Quest.、Uh, Gambate, gambate kurunda. So, Do your best and come back. Uh, there probably is, for any genre though, some specialized vocabulary that you might need, so there may be some specialized vocab that you'll need to brush up yourself, but,、uh, but a general overall understanding of Japanese is what you need, and yeah, this will help you for that. So let's talk to this kid. Ne, Akira! i t a r a s h a i So, yeah, you, prob- you may have heard. i t a r a s h a i Something you can say when someone's going off on a journey, but they're going to come back later. Wait, Yellow Ninja, what are those words? <laughs> Akira, Seiji no Gishigi Suru no Kana. Oh, we talked about this guy already. Renzo, Yokoso, Japanese customer, welcome.、Uh, what the Japanese say when they eat? Someone in chat, I, I'm guessing, must know. Yep. Itadakimasu. Nicely done. Ooh, this guy's got some robes. Ah, thanks for writing in Kana too. Got it. Kono saki wa, so up ahead. Kewashi sando ga matteru. So there's a steep mountain path waiting. Daga. But, one thing we often talk about in Japanese Quest whenever you see a ga as a sentence turning point at the end or the beginning of a sentence, you know that there's going to be a change of、uh, direction. So there's a steep mountain. Daoga, but. So, however. Daichi no seire sama ga. But these, uh. The spirits of the mountain will be watching over you. Yeah, it essentially means to, like, humbly receive the food. Kore kara. Seiji no Gushiki o Mukaeru Futare o Kitto. I just want to mention again my internal kind of monologue as I'm reading. This word always jumps out at me. Kitto. Because it means surely. For sure. So, you know, whatever they say after that is something that's for sure going to happen. It's a very helpful marker in that way. So, Kitto. Dai shi zen mo shukufuku shite kureru hazo. Uh, so, so surely you'll be blessed 
by nature, by Mother Nature. So Shukufuhu, blessing, and then Dai Shizen. It's just kind of nature. Shizen by itself is nature. Dai Shizen is like big nature. I feel like there's probably a better translation than big nature. Let's uh, let's just look this one up for fun. But yeah, I believe it can have a nuance of it. Like, yeah, Mother Nature, which I said so. I guess I translated it perfectly. Didn't need to look it up. Anyway, sometimes it's fun to look things up anyway. So, I will be praying for you. Ah, don't eat you up. Ah, oh, curious. Nice comment. Thanks. Yeah, the comments from chat today are so. Helpful. Thanks everyone for for giving comments. I'm not able to see all of them, but the hope really is that uh, the reason all this stuff is on the screen, like I realize it's a little bit obtrusive. This is such a beautiful game. It's in a way a bit of a shame sometimes. However, there's a good reason for it. It's to emphasize that we are here for learning. We are here for leveling up. In Japanese, the power level keeps rising. The words that we're learning are always here, even if we're just fighting a monster. Words are still here. Someone could learn something, theoretically. And most importantly, everyone else joining Japanese Quest, this community of learners and teachers, other Japanese teachers are here too, and native speakers. We can share ideas, we can share tips. We can share different ways of motivating each other. We can share our favorite games in Japanese. And uh, after stream, you can check each other out. You can talk on Discord as well. So check out our Discord as well. It's at the top of the Twitch if you want to see it. And YouTube too. People can comment and watch videos there. Samu, konnichiwa. Hello. Uh, hora, mitte. So she's saying, hey, look. Mitte. Um, so miru, to, to see or to watch. And then te makes it a command. So mitte, look. Look at this view. So kono, this, and then keshiki, view. So look at this view. Koko kara, so from here. Koko kara no nagame wa saiko yo ne. So the view from here is the best. Saiko, the best. And again, the, this ending part is kind of showing her emotion, what she feels about it. The yo and the ne. The yo is kind of showing emphasis and the ne is kind of looking for agreement, saying like, don't you think this is cool? Ah, Rika, only picking up Japanese again. Ganbare. Uh, moshi. Another useful sentence marker here, here. If you see this at the beginning of a sentence, it means if. So, if something. So, moshi. Keshiki no ii basho mitsuketara. So, if you find a good place with a good view, ashi o tomete. So, stop where you are. Literally, stop your legs. Ashi means legs. Naga, nagamete iku no mo iwa yo. So, and yeah, gazing, taking a look could be a good idea. I means good. A wa is an ending particle for uh, women. Dragon Quest fan! Ooh, very relevant. Yokozo, welcome! Uh, dai shizen no onke o kanjirare kara ne. Again, we see this word, Mother Nature. Dai shizen. So you feel the blessing of nature. Kanjiru, to feel. Onke, blessing. So the blessing of Mother Nature, you can feel it. That's why you should stop and look at the view once in a while. If there's a good view. Dragon Quest fan, konnichiwa, hello. Welcome. You are in the right place. Let's get some Dragon Quest hype in chat. We must build hype for this game, spread it so other people can play it in Japanese. Other people can play the demo. We must spread this game and Japanese in this game far and wide. Ooh, a dragon has been summoned. Anyone else? Ooh, with Twitch Prime, if you have Twitch Prime as well, you too 
can summon a dragon for free. One of the best things about having Amazon Prime, in my opinion, is summoning dragons for free on this channel, bringing hype to Japanese learning on Twitch. Okay, so where are we? Uh, oh, we got a problem. Uchi no koga. So something about her child. Uh, doko ni mo, so meaning like nowhere. So nowhere around um, is she able to find him, her child. Could be a quest, I don't know. So miya taranai, not, so not able to find. Uh, mo komatta wa, so the verb here, this is kind of the important emotion. Komaru. To be worried, to be troubled. Uh, so where did he go? JY Conan, Yokozo, welcome. Uh, I'm just thinking, looking at the sentence. We haven't done it yet, but we also look for sentences that seem key to the game and useful. For learning Japanese. Sometimes we write them in chat and add them to our sentence chronicle. Ooh, welcome to a new dragon summoned by ST Jimmy has subscribed also with Twitch Prime. Another dragon summoned out of the Amazon. So if you have Amazon Prime, imagine this Amazon forest, right? Now let's do it in the world Japanese quest. So imagine this Amazon forest. You see this forest here? By the way, this is hard to draw. I did this weird forest texture. The max level forest that I could do. Uh, anyway, this is the Amazon in the world of Japanese Quest. And imagine these dragons being summoned out of this Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime for free, dragons just fly. They just fly out of this Amazon. So anyone else who has Amazon Prime, if you want to summon a free... Dragon, feel free to subscribe to Japanese Quest. You can unlock our dragon emotes, which is especially appropriate now that we're playing Japanese Quest. Never mind, Dragon Quest finally. Even getting mixed up all these different quests. Urechi, we got a dragon. Uh, Cyber Kitty has a strange question. We like strange questions, so let's jump in. Uh, should, I, should you focus first on tons of vocab? before going grammar, like 2,000 words or more, or mixing them together. Uh, I recommend learning both at the same time. And often learning words in the context of sentences is the best way. So I kind of recommend learning both, not just words in isolation. Yeah, I think that's true for, true for many people, Keso. So I kind of recommend learning grammar and vocab in parallel. And one natural way to do that is simply to read a lot, even early level. That's part of why we do this. A fun way to read is Japanese games. If you read, you see words in their context, if, especially if you have furigana, you can look up those words. Then you can learn words in a context that's meaningful. It can help you remember the words a lot better. Masaka. Masaka to wa omou kedo hitori de kami no iwa ni nobotari wa shite nai wa yo ne. So he couldn't have climbed this holy mountain by himself. Maybe he rode a dragon up there because another dragon was just summoned. Arigato! From a uh, Futo Force, subscribe tier 1. Arigato, honto ni. Thank you very much for summoning that dragon, bring more hype to Japanese learning on Japanese Quest. Okay. Ah, Yarawa Shinpai. So that's really. This is the key feeling she has. Worry. Shinpai, to be worried. Shinpai dawa. I'm worried. Did anyone read in chat? It was the top of the Learn Japanese subreddit today, uh, there was a Tofugu write-up on Da versus Des. They talked about Da and Des. It was quite a good write-up. I recommend checking out the article if you're into that kind of thing. So they talked about Da and Desu. And you might have heard 
that Desu is generally more polite, Da is more informal. But I thought they had an interesting way of framing it in that write-up. The basic core idea of it was is that Da is used for expressing your inner feelings. And so this character is using Da here. And she is certainly in like talking about her inner feelings right now. She is really worried her kid's lost, he might be in trouble, he might be hurt, she doesn't know. So this is her inner feeling, she's using Da. And she would not use probably Desu in this scenario because that would be formal, it would be kind of distancing. It, it wouldn't be appropriate for her inner feeling in a moment like this. Plus, if she's close with us, that'd be a more common way to, to talk. Yeah, it's a, it's a good write-up. Right? It's worth checking out. Smoked Joker, Yokozo, Japanese Customer, welcome. Ooh, we've got our dog. Did you hear that, uh, kind of bang? Hopefully I didn't mess up anything. I kind of, uh, hit my desk because I'm raising my desk. I have a standing desk here. I didn't have it at first streaming, but, uh, sitting all the time is not good. So I'm putting up my standing desk now, which is good timing because we're climbing this mountain. I gotta get up, I gotta stand, I'm okay, I just hit my knee on the thing. Daijoubu is still, thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> the standing desk is now up, so now I'm standing. We are ready to climb this mountain. Sometimes we need to level up literally with our desk here on Japanese Quest. Uh, so she is saying, now, us as people of this village here, let's break this down a little bit. So this, weird, this word here, tami, means citizens, people of this village. Um, again, the village is called Ishi. So Ishi can mean rock, so it could be like rock village, I think. In English, how do they translate that name? I'm curious. So Daichi no Sere To. So To marking with. So with these village, or no, with the spirits of the land, Daichi no Sere To Tomo ni Ari. Arika. So we'll be along with the spirit of the land. Kimeda, Yokozo, Japanese customer, welcome. A cobblestone, so yeah, I guess. That makes sense. So cobblestone, so it is like kind of a rock type of village type of name. Um so cut off from, so she heard something from someone. Kita means to hear. So she heard it from her grandpa, which is the mayor. So Ojisan Kara. Kita. So I heard from the mayor. Um, ano kami no iwa ni wa. So in this uh, holy mountain, um, these the spirits of the land kind of live within the mountain. This verb here, yadoru, means to reside within something or to live somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so she's saying now, so from when we were six. Right, I was told about this my whole life. They were eventually going to be giving a prayer to these gods as we climb it. Yeah, this is a good point. So, the key noun here, shikitari, means tradition. So this tradition, you can kind of see it in her face. Again, she's saying, konna. So this kind of tradition, she's showing annoyance with, why in the world do we have a tradition where we have to climb this dangerous mountain? We might fa fall and like hurt ourselves or die. It's a good point. So gake means cliff, gake kara. So from the cliff, ochiru. So if we fall and get hurt, then what? Like, what are they thinking? Uh, kega means injury. 
So Kega demo shitara. So if we got injured, then what? Ah, Cyber Kitty, good comment here. Um, ooh, interesting comment from Pika as well. So these games, I think there's a new game for this series. Atelier, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, I don't really know the games, but I saw the new game looks kind of cool. I saw a tweet about it today. I follow a lot of Japanese game companies and things. Uh, couple new followers, Yokozo, couple new party members. Yokozo, Japanese Quest away, welcome to Japanese Quest. <laughs> eh? So here we say another, another useful word for changing the direction. Demo. So, but, the fact that we were born on the same day, that's the one saving grace. Uh, Yuitsu, the single, and then Sukui to be saved. So the one saving grace is that they were born on the same day. That's What are the odds of that? Isho, same. And, uh, but, honestly, could that even be true, though? Because we were, like, in a basket. How can they even know when we were born? No one would know that. They must have, like, fudged something to make us born on the same day. I smell some kind of conspiracy. So, hitori datara. So, if I was alone, hitori. One person or by yourself. Uh, zettai. So, absolutely. Uh... I absolutely would have given up. Megeru is to give up. Uses the same kanji as like makeru to get defeated. Not a super common word. Uh, sore ja ikimashō. Well then, let's go. Nani? By the way, we have an emote for Nani as well. You can use it if you're one of the people that subscribed recently. Ah, mamono? Ooh, this is a good keyword. This key, this word, if uh, you remember Gata and anyone else who was there for when we played Breath of the Wild, this word you saw all the time in Breath of the Wild. So ma means magic, mono means thing. So magical thing, or it can mean a magical animal. In this case, it's a word for monster that's common in video games, mamono. Uh, new party member is Yokozo. Welcome. Yeah, having these voice lines is really good for learning. It's very, very nice. That's the good thing, too. They did In the original version on PlayStation 4, they were not voiced in Japanese. The English version was, but it, usually Dragon Quest games were not voiced in Japan. So this version is amazing if you want that voice, which is very nice. And yeah, the voices are natural, but I mean, I guess... They can mean in a sense it's not natural because it keeps stopping like this or or something like that. Uh, so they're coming this way. So slimes have appeared. Be careful. You can see in the top right. Be careful. the kind of thing in Japan that people say to you if you're going out in the rain, things like that. At the bottom you see Kolgeki, which means attack. You see Tawushita, defeated. Some good verbs, the past form generally. Or just exclamation points. Kind of good repetition, you just see the words pretty fast. And ooh, let's look at our options too. So... Real quick down here. Oh, you can move around? I didn't even know you could move around. Eh? Shirenakatta. So you can move around. Good to know. So we have Kogeki, attack. Uh, Jumon, still gray, but uh, that means spells. Bogyo, defense. Dogi, means... Uh... Or no, never mind. Tokugi, that's uh, like special techniques. Uh, gi by itself means like technique. Um... Dogu, that's what I was thinking of reading. That means tool, or like items in this game. Uh, sobi, equipment. And then you have a couple options. Sakusen, which is your strategies. And then Kasuru Ido, moving your cursor. So let's do attack. Yep. 
Shortient, nice name. And welcome. Slime Otachi o Yatsuketa. So we've defeated the slimes. Tachi makes the slimes into a group. If you take that away, it just means you defeat one slime. Kiri says, by the way, you can run around freely in battle. To my knowledge, it has no effect. Really? It's kind of strange. I guess camera stuff. Yeah. Uh, Akira wa doku pointo no kekenchi wo kakutoku. So key noun here is experience points. This is kind of a RPG word. This word by itself is very important in general. Keiken, experience. But then chi means like value. So experience points. So we've gained experience points. And also we have six gold. You can see gold in katakana there. Gorudo. Te ni ireta means we've gained or received six gold. Slime wa, so as for the slime, he has dropped a treasure chest. Takarabako o otoshiteita. So takara can mean treasure by itself too. Hako means box, takarabako. Something you see in a lot of games. Treasure chest. Akira wa yakuso o dogu bukuro ni ireta. So we put herbs, yakuso is herbs, into our uh, tool bag. Okay, so the last sentence first. Uh, we were lucky they were small monsters. Uh, un is luck, so un ga yokatta. So we were lucky they were small monsters. Uh, I was saved because of you and uh, Ruki, the dog. Oh, and also she said, bikurishita, which means I was surprised. Bikuri. Surprise. Mm, do you know? You need to get through the cave to get up to the uh, the top of the mountain. Okay, so that monster from before uh, must have come from the cave. Keyword here, you've seen a lot of games, but it's one of these words that when I was first learning Japanese, this word tripped me up big time. One reason I have this channel is to kind of like tell you which words to learn first. If you're going to learn the word cave, for example. The answer, this word. Dokutsu, cave. Dokutsu, cave. You'll see it a lot in games. Uh, problem was, I'd look up this word. Let me just show you. I'd look up this word. And there'd be so many words for cave, I wouldn't know which word to learn. And then, like, they'd all bounce into each other, and I'd, in the end, learn nothing. So we have this word, cave. Ah, Renee, welcome. Uh, but then you have this word, another word for cave, another word for cave. The first three, maybe, are somewhat common. And look, this one's not even linked as common, but this is the good word to learn. It's a common word. Dokutsu cave, that's the one in the game, the top one. It's top for a reason. And you have more words for cave. How many words for cave do you need? Apparently, like 20 or more. But really, if you want to learn a word for cave, trust me. I didn't know when I started learning, so I learned nothing for cave for like years. I'll tell you right now, learn this word for cave. Dokutsu, cave. I'll save you a lot of thinking time in the end, trust me. Okay. Welcome everyone who just joined during the cave times. Kyu-chan, Yokoro, welcome. So let's go into this cave. Dokutsu ni ikimashou. So let's break down a bit more what she said. She said, kowai kedo. So it's scary, but... Akira ga isho dashi. So, but you are with me. Um... Hetshara, that wa. So, this is kind of the same meaning as like heiki, which means like okay, daijobu kind of meaning. So, uh, yeah, so you're with me, so it's it's okay. Sa, ikimashou, let's go. 
Yeah, got it. I'm glad you're backing me up. It's 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 very common, and it's just the word in general that you want to know, not just for games. True, true, true. Some of those words were not all about cave, but if you keep scrolling, trust me, there's a lot of words for cave. You don't need all of them. But if you learn the kanji, they're all using like the same kanji, so you'll be able to read all of them. That's why kanji are so helpful. Yin. GGO. Welcome. Secret treasure. Uh, onabe no futa o mitsuketa. Nice! We found, uh, what do we find? Let's check. Um, let's break down this word. So it's a noun made out of two nouns. Noun phrase. So, onabe no futa. So futa means like the cover. So it's the cover of like a pot. Hmm. Guessing that's a shield. Right, so we put in our equipment bag. So if you look and you see Sobi, you know it's your equipment bag, not item. So that means you can equip it. So Sobi, this word's very important. Sobi means equipment. Pot lid, yata. Let's uh, see if we can add that. So really quickly, let's review these. Let's quickly put up my different screen I used for when we... We did one video showing the whole menu. We'll just review it quickly here. Look in the lower left. So we just break down these words really quickly here. Um, dogu. Tool. Uh, Sobi. Equipment. The way it's translated into English was items and equipment. Uh, tsiyosa means strength, but it's translated as abilities. Uh, Jumon, spells. Nakama. It means like uh, party members if anyone joins. If you follow right now, you can become one of our Nakama. And then Sakusen means strategy, and that's different options. You can see down here all those different translations. If you want to see a longer video on this stuff, we have that on our YouTube right now. You can go over there. The most recent video right now breaks these down and actually four games this game also final fantasy 7 final fantasy 10 and seiken densetsu so over 30 years you can see the evolution of game menus we also look at let's scroll down the attributes in this game i won't show all those right now but uh let's at least get them on the screen so if anyone wants to pause you can pause and look at these if you really want to or we could possibly look at them later okay let's go back to the game erase that quickly okay so where were we? we're going into our equipment Sobi and uh, you can see here it, the cool thing about this game it shows here Migite right hand Hidarite left hand Migi means right Hidari means left so let's see let's go to our Hidarite and check it out nice picture um, you see it labeled Tate shield um, and so it's describing it here. So, onabe no futani. So, on this uh, pot lid, there is just a handle affixed. Totte o tsuketa. So, totte means handle. Uh, kantan na tate. So, a very simple shield. Kantan, simple. Let's equip that. Yatta. And it looks like our. Um, our guard percent. Litsu means rate of defense went up by 5%. I didn't see it, but our defense went up too. Let's unequip it. So you can do Hazusu, which means unequip. So we unequip it. Let's go back. So yeah, okay, it goes up by 12. Our defense power goes up by, tw by 2. Yatta. Akuso, yeah, I'm glad we're playing this game too. Uh, I think it was time for a new game. Plus, this game comes out tomorrow, so it's kind of perfect timing to play today, at least on Switch and uh, PS4. It comes out tomorrow, so people can get it today if you want the demo for free from the Japanese store. You can play it in Japanese right now. That is why we thought it'd be good to have today. 
Let's get into this cave now. Dokutsuni, ikimashou. Oh no. I just tried to like swing my sword as if it was Breath of the Wild because you press Y. But in this game it brings up the map, so that's a different thing. So to the right we see Kami no Iwa, the, the mountain of the gods. To the left we see the village Cobblestone. But in Japanese it's like the city, the rock city, Ishinomura. Do you have access to enemy descriptions? Those can be fun. Oh, good question. I don't know where those are right now. We could look at those sometime. But thanks for the comment. Oh, cool. Curious. You saw the menu VOD? Very nice. Yeah, it's on YouTube if anyone wants to check it out. Check out the YouTube. It's linked at the top of our Twitch page somewhere in there. And uh, it's just youtube.com slash Japanese Quest. This video will be up there soon, probably tomorrow. I want to upload it if possible. Ah, they're in the map screen. Good to know for the future. For now, we've been going kind of slowly, so let's try to move forward for now. Someday we'll check it out. Eh? Nani? Hayashi. Yakuso Tenigeta. So we have gained another herb. Oops. Wrong button. Ne, Akira. Mata Mamono ga iruwa. So it looks like there's a monster again. Uh, Mada. So it looks like he still hasn't noticed us. So how about we uh, get closer and attack him first? Okay, so it's talking about field attack here. Um, field ni monster ni chikatsukuto. So if you get closer to monsters in the field, orange no castle ga hyoji saremasu. So an orange cursor will be displayed. Welcome to a new wave that has joined Japanese Quest. Welcome. Uh, Kono toki ni. So at that time, press A button. And uh, then you can attack the monster and give a bit of damage. And battle will begin. So get close to the slime and attack. Key word here. Kogeki. Attack. This one was, of all the words from all the game menus in our game menu series that we're starting, this was the one keyword we saw for every game. Attack. Kogeki. So let's do that. One one. Yeah, barking. Slime with Tachiga Harawarita. So slimes have appeared. Um, let's again do... Tatakao to fight. Kogeki attack. Taoshita. So we defeated it. Siyoine! Looks like our dog's pretty strong as well. So we defeated them. So again, Kei Kenshi. We got some experience points. And uh, Gorudo. Got some gold. Nicely done. So one thing I did hear about this game, unlike I think the uh, other version of the game, this new version, this Dragon Quest XI S, you can actually speed up the battle mode. We'll probably do that and try it out in a bit. Although these battles still, like just now, seem to be going fairly quickly. So that verb you keep seeing is taosu. Kind of good repetition on these words, seeing them again and again. Yatta! Level ga ichi kara ni! Ni agatta. So we are now level 2. We have leveled up in the game. 
So what we do on this channel, we level up in the game. We also level up in Japanese. Our power level goes up as we find new words in Japanese. We find sentences too. So it looks like all those uh, attributes there. Let's really quickly again go to this menu view that I told you about. Uh, I won't do this more than just right now. But uh, look at those words right there. Saidai means maximum. So we have maximum HP, maximum MP. Both of those went up. Then we have chikara, meaning power or strength. Um, we have mino mamori, resilience. Subayasa, um, agility. Kiyosa, deafness is how they translate in that game. It can mean dexterity as well. We have Again, kogeki means attack, so we have attack magic, we have healing magic, kaifuku means healing, and then we have, of course, charm, miryoku, charm. Let's uh, scroll those words down so you can see charm at the bottom. There you go. So, and also important, atarashi jumon, so jumon means spell, o oboita. So we've remembered a new spell, atarashi means new, and all this went up. Nice. So let's go back to the game. Nice. Akira wa meta. Meta no jumono oboita. So I read that there's some sets, um, spells that are unique to this Dragon Quest world. This is one of them, the fire spell. Um, meta can also mean kind of like kind of fiery or toasty. Yeah, last protagonist, thank you for the comment. Uh, no, we actually have a dedicated emote for that for people that subscribe, but uh, people that are not subscribed can absolutely still use the Doritos, yes. Um, so yeah, Gade, do you want to learn one of these? Yeah, why don't we learn one of these? Um, so yeah, here is a symbol that we use when we learn a new sentence. Someone, someone in chat can write this sentence, and then that means it's a sentence we break down more in detail. Let's just start with a simple one. Someone in chat can write this. It's good practice to write in Japanese, to type in Japanese. So let's break this down. We start with just an adjective here. Uh, atarashi. So something new, you know, just from the beginning. So what kind of new thing? Again, in Japanese, you have a noun. The things before it modify that. So a new spell, atarashi jumon. And then what's happening with this new spell? We have an object particle marking, so some verb will happen, some action. And the action here is to remember or to acquire, to learn a new spell. And you see ta marking the past form, so a new spell was learned. Atarashi jumon o oboita. So we learned a new spell. Nicely done, got it. Add that to our... Uh, Sentence Chronicle, and last protagonist, writing it in uh, Romaji, that's fine too. I will add it later, so we can keep moving for now. But uh, just to show you, we have this power level list, we have these words. We have words that level up, that's our power level. Welcome Plain Jane, Plain Jane Doe. And here we have our sentences, we're up to now over 300 sentences from many different games. You can check this list out too. It's linked in the top of our Twitch. So this new sentence will be right here. And the cool thing about this list, you can search, you can do the find feature. And for example, you could search, for example, some grammar you're wanting to study. Like say you want to learn shika in more detail, meaning like only something, something shika and I, like only something and nothing else. You could search for that and find in many different games how that's used. Generally, we put important, teachable sentences here. So things important for that game. Words that have some kind of emotional weight or some kind of important point in the game. A good question, Ms. Gravard. Someone in uh, chat might be able to help you with that question. Anyone who wants to ask questions, that is what 
this channel exists for, so feel free to ask questions. I won't have time necessarily to read all of them, but uh, often other party members are great at answering them. Like Jazzy Worm Jeff, arigato. Yeah, I really recommend writing words by hand to get a feel for them. There's really no substitute for just trying to write things by hand. Naxilla! Yokoso, welcome! They're writing by hand and also looking at different fonts. Like one font, they might look more similar. Some fonts, they might look more different. I recommend reading enough so you can kind of start to spot the differences. But that's a good question. So all questions really here are good questions because someone else watching, whether it's now or later on YouTube, watching the VODs, they may have that same question. And if someone answers it, you could help someone. So yeah, no thank you. Arigato. Miss Graveheart. Good name, by the way. I must say, I'm really impressed. I kind of take it for granted, but I'm really impressed by how helpful everyone is on this stream in this Japanese Quest community. I really appreciate that, other people answering, because not, I don't always have the time to do it. It really helps to be kind and encouraging, learning a language. It's a hard thing. It's hard to make mistakes. You can feel like you're stupid. Sometimes I feel like I'm stupid learning. I certainly did so many times in my Japanese journey. But really, this is a place to make mistakes, to ask easy questions, to ask stupid questions. That's good. That's what we want. We can learn from those mistakes. Baka man, welcome. If people are baka, if they make a mistake in some way, that's okay, I think we came from here. Let's look at our map for a second. Yep, definitely going the wrong way. So DJ Jazzy Worm Jeff, that is uh, maybe the best name I've ever seen on Twitch. At least for a fan of uh, Fresh Prince like myself. Jazzy Jeff was on Fresh Prince. That's mostly where I know him from. Imagining him as a worm is kind of awesome. Kanagi! Arigato! I'm a Baka! That's good! We are all Baka in some ways. That's fine. That's why we can help each other. No one knows everything. Nothing that we do creatively is perfect. So really it's just about moving forward, doing the best that you can. That's what I'm doing with this stream. This stream's not perfect, and that's good. Because we can learn from the imperfections. We can, you know, feel more human and authentic for those imperfections. We can, I heard someone use the phrase once, we can tie our imperfections together and uh, I like that phrase. Let's see here. Let's, who are these guys? How would you rate Breath of the Wild language? I'd say about average, but the good thing is there's Furigana in it. So that helps to look things up if you don't know the words. But the challenge, the challenge of just the, uh, the words itself I would say it's about average gaming wise. I'm sorry if that's not helpful, but I'd say it's probably similar to this game. About average. Honestly, so far this seems possibly easier than Breath of the Wild. Language eyes, like a little bit easier maybe. I could be wrong on that. Again, it's fine if I'm wrong. <laughs> Sleepy Sloth, welcome! We like Sleepy Sloths around here. There are times when uh, I am a sleepy sloth. So drop your treasure chest. Again, we find Yakuso. Herbs. Does Breath of the Wild use many rare later grammar points? Not that many, but I mean, it depends where you are. There is a, there's some a little bit tricky stuff there, but in general, it's a pretty standard, straightforward video game type of language. I'd say that earlier, older games in the series are easier, though, because it's more advanced, it's got longer sentences and things. So she's saying, Mite, take a look. It's all white. 
Can't believe the uh, the fog is this intense. So Kiri, fog, and then like Konani, this much fog. I can't believe it. And then Mashiro, all white. So Shiro means white, and then Mashiro means like pure white. This kanji by itself means like true. So you can't imagine like true, pure white. Although it's not really pure white, is it? Genetoid, yokoso! Japanese customer, welcome! Save me! <laughs> eh? His name is Manoro, I guess. <laughs> Nani sore? <laughs> Hurry, we have to save him! <laughs> I guess I didn't translate the Taihen. Taihen means like, oh no, this is bad kind of feeling. Taihen! So the fog turned into a monster? Again, Mamoro means monster. Smoke Itachi ga haroraita. So some smoke monsters have appeared. Watashi mo gambaruta. So she's gonna work hard this time too, I guess. That's good, we might need the help. Okay, so let's do Tatakao to fight. Abune. Oh, we're down to nine hit points? Let's do Kogeki attack. Oh no, wait a minute. These guys look like magic. We should probably use magic, Jumon magic. Should we just test Kogeki to see if it works though? What do you think in chat? What should we do? Sometimes in chat we vote on what we do. Let's vote right now. Let's vote on either Kogeki attack or Jumon magic. Just write in chat. Which one do you want to do? Romaji's fine. Kano's fine. Kogeki for attack. Um, or Jumon for spell. So I see... Whoa, Curious is going for heal, Kaifuku. Okay. Uh, I have three for Jumon, four for Jumon. We have one for Kogeki, one for attack. So most people are going with spell. <laughs> Nigete, someone's saying run. Okay, we could... Can we even run? I don't even see an option to run. Nigete is to run. Okay, let's try a spell. The spell wins. So Jubon, our Jubon is meta. And let's look at the explanation here. So... Chisara He. So He is fire, but not just fire. It's a fireball. He no Tama. Tama means ball. And then De, so using a fireball. Uh, Teki Itai. So one enemy, just one. O Kogeki. So don't worry, people who wrote attack, we're still attacking. Kogeki again you see as a uh, attack, it's just now we're attacking with magic. Oh, it's in the first menu? Thank you, man. Arigato. Yakuso o tsukata. So she used an herb. Hopefully she has unlimited herbs, because otherwise we could be in trouble. Let's use a spell again. You might have seen the verb for to like do a spell. Tonaeru, tonaeru, is to like. Uh... Actually, during this battle, let's look up the word. It's this word I don't think we've learned yet, but tonaeru to recite, to chant, to cry, to yell. So he's chanting these spells. So imagine him yelling out. N one word, common word. Let's learn this word today. Pretty sure we haven't learned it. Cannibal. A druidess. Awesome, that could come in handy as a party member. Yokoso, Japanese custom. welcome. So you can see this word we have not learned yet, so power level is up to 1347. Nice, let's go back to the game. I'll make the number go up later. Let's continue attacking with magic. Yeah, last protagonist. I'm glad you like it. King Bowser is joined. We got Bowser in our party. We are now unstoppable. We got Bowser. We got a Druidus. A couple streams ago, we got someone... We got like a cheese made out of like... Uh, no, we got like a mech. A Gundam made out of cheese. So really, I think we're unstoppable at this point. We have Bowser and a mech made of cheese. 
So really, no one can stop us. Okay, so we defeat we defeated them, and again we leveled up. Level ga ni kara san ni agatta. Yatta. So sorry, I tried to get here earlier and uh, surprise you. But I was attacked by a monster. So this is a use of passive verb. The way that is marked is, so in this case, mamono, monster, is marked with ni. So I was attacked by a monster. The verb for to attack is Oso, oso, u, and you change that to rarere. So, mamono ni oso warete. So, I was attacked by a monster. So, you're right, that is strange. Hen means strange. Uh, at this holy god mountain, normally monsters don't appear. Game Taco, welcome. But even so, you can't do something dangerous like that. So go off ahead with the dog, with Ruki, and go back to the village. Murari, Murani, Murote. So go back to the village, and then Nasai. Please go back to the village. Oh, uh, yeah, that is a cat cam. His name is Griffin. Kawaii ne. Un, wakata, I understand. Arigato ne. Anna kuai mamono o tawas chao nante. Zyoku natanda. So you've become stronger, haven't you? Defeating such a strong monster. Uh, so after a little bit, we will reach the top. Chojo is the top of the mountain. So, oh no, rain started falling. This use of kudu here is kind of interesting. So it started to rain. Um, let's hurry. Again, masho meaning like let's, isogu, to hurry. And then ame, of course, rain. Ah, his name is Sandy? Interesting. Thank you for comments like that. It's really interesting seeing translation comments that people make. So if you climb this vine, the top is just a little bit more. So you should be careful uh, not to let go on the way. Yeah, good question. Last protagonist. Uh, yeah, good comment. Beshi is uh, like Becky, meaning you should do something. So you should be careful in this case. And yeah, feel free to uh, share some insight on that as well. Anyone in chat? Uh, my name is Akira. Just like the character in this game, we named Akira for this game. A lot of people here might not know me if you're new. My name is Akira, or Akira Sensei. I'm a Japanese teacher in the U.S. And this is a stream for learning Japanese from Japanese games. Hashimoto ni kiyotsukete. So be careful of where you step. Watch your step. Shinsho ni susumu beshi. So again, we see that beshi that was talked about in chat, meaning so you must be careful moving forward.
Furufu, yeah, thanks for all the comments, you guys. Baka Man says, I just want to say this seems like a great stream. Nice way to learn. Your voice is very easy to hear along with. Yatta! Good to hear. Glad the volume and everything seems good. Chili, everyone else, welcome. I wonder if we will top the most party members ever in a single stream today. We could probably get close. Nenox, Yokozo, welcome. Okay, so. Oh, we fell. Daijoboka. Don't know if it's okay to fall here. Tonosaki, so up ahead. Kamino Iwano Chojo. So it's the, the summit of the god mountain, the mountain of the gods. Dakeo Yojinobote, so climb the cliff and advance. Until the end, do not. <laughs> do not let up your guard, so be careful, basically. So this also. So Beshi and Bekarazu both mean things you should do. So it's kind of like sign. Kind of like more traditional type of words that you'd see in writing with possibly more traditional writings. Speaking of more traditional writings, the title of this game itself is, uh, you can see here, Sugi Sarishi Toki. This Lishi is kind of an unusual phrase, but basically it just means like a forgotten time. It just connects it with this noun, Toki, time. And it's kind of a, like an old traditional Japanese way of connecting an adjective to a noun. So like times past. Thank you for the comments. Helps to add insight because a lot of times there's different facets to explore with different things we see in game. I will not always think of or know every facet. Everyone here, if we take collectively what everyone watching right now knows, we can learn so much about Japanese and Japanese culture. Much more than just I could teach alone. We can really teach each other. We made it! Sweet. Suku to make it, to reach something, and then Suita the pass form. So that's too bad. If the weather was good, again we see this word kito. So definitely, we'd have a great view. Zekke means great view, and then mideru to be able to see the great view. So if the view was good, yokatara. So was good. So if it was good, um, then we could see it. Tenki, of course, means weather. The reason I say of course, if you want to learn one word from the sentence, Tenki is a good one. Uh, Furigana you can choose. You can turn it on and off. It's not really default. You choose at the very beginning of the game. But that's the really cool thing. On PlayStation, there was no Furigana. Yeah, Bakuman. Good comment. Exactly like that. So we better quickly pray. Eh? What? If you look at the beginning of the stream, we'll tell you how to turn it on. This VOD will be on Twitch and YouTube. Save me! This is the Switch version. Dragon Quest 11s coming out tomorrow this is actually the demo which is free in 10 hours you can get it from the Japanese store right now some people in chat already downloaded it they might even be playing it now as we're playing or after stream this is the beginning this is the first stream of this game yep you have to use the Japanese store you don't need a VPN but you, do, you might need to google it to see the details on how to use the Japanese store to get Japanese games that's what I did myself. I just Googled it. There's a few steps it will tell you. So we were saved. Oh, 
But that's strange. It's almost as if you summoned the lightning. Keyword here. Kaminari. Lightning. And yo, uh, kaminari yo yonda. So you called, it's almost like you called the lightning mitai, it seems like. Dorbit, yokozo, welcome. Yeah, Rikai kun is what I'm using. Ah, there's that word asa again, birthmark. So that birthmark, what in the world is happening with it? Itai kind of means like, what in the world? Eh? Ah, it disappeared. I wonder why. So I keep getting saved by you. Ippai means lots, so I've been saved by you lots of times. So yappari, as expected. Being along with you is very reassuring. Kokoro zioi, very reassuring, helpful, heartening to be together. Oh, nice. N3, good goal. Yeah, I took uh, N2 and N1 when I was in Japan living and after lived in Japan for two years. I think for me, it was a really good goal to have to shoot for the JLPT levels. So I recommend that often on chat. Often on our stream. So we better quickly finish our prayer. So along with the, the gods of the land, we are people of the town of Ishi, Cobblestone. So you gods who keep us alive with, all, with your blessing, with all your food, we give thanks to you, you gods of the land. So sometimes you'll read things in Japanese games that are a little trickier than normal, like this is an example of that. She's speaking more in a more formal, kind of religious kind of speech. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much if stuff moments like this are trickier than usual. So here she's just saying, uh, so please watch over us. Give us your blessing. Us who live in this, in the land. Ah. Eh? Awesome. Eh, Nichi, we got a rainbow. Nichi is rainbow. So the world is really this vast? Really this wide? And then you see Sekai Te. That Te means like, so as for the world, the, the world's really this vast? It's the people who thought up this custom, this Shikitari custom. Uh, they wanted to show us this view. So we should tell uh, my grandfather, who also happens to be the the village chief, let's tell him that we finished the, the trial. They're all probably waiting for us to come back. Yeah, Kanji are tough. That's why it's great this game has Kurigana. Many games do not. It's great here. You can turn it on and off, too, if you want to. Hirena Eda. So, like a, a beautiful branch we got there. Eda means branch. Ooh, it is a nice view, too. So, I think in the Switch version, I'm not sure if it was a 
ability before, but I think you can take pictures somehow. Uh, I forget which button it is. Let me try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you press the minus... No, never mind. That's like the party talk. Arigato, Akira. Thank you. Shojiki, saki wa mo dame ka to motta. I thought it was no good before. Honto ni kyo wa tasukarate bakari datta. So I keep getting saved by you. Sore ni shite mo ano kaminari wa nan datta nado. So what in the world was that with the lightning? Ojichan nara nani ka shite ru kana. So, if my grandfather we talked to him, maybe he'll know. Hayaku. Mina no tokuro ni odorimashou. So, quick, let's go back to where everyone else is. Eh? Okay, that was wrong. How do we do this camera now? Plus trial buttons. That's map. Ah, here we go. See if your quest list and your photo mode. You can see in Katakana there. Photo mode. Let's try that. We have a good view here. We can move kind of around. So if you press A, it says Satsue. Let's try to get more next to our other person here. Wait, how did I break that up again? Uh, oh, right from the map. No, it wasn't the map. Oh no. How did I do that? I cannot bring the camera back. Ooh, I turned on auto run if you hold down the L stick. <laughs> That's wrong. It was next to the quest list. Where is the quest list? Uh, cool idea for a stream. I'm glad you like it. Can't believe I couldn't figure out my camera. I had it, but then I lost it again. There's so many buttons. It's weirdly tricky to figure out. Somewhere on the D-pad. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It's the D-pad. My bad. Thank you, DJ Jazzy Worm Jeff. Okay, so again, Satsue, if you press A. Uh, if you press X, let's press it and see what happens. So, Narabi Naoshi. So, you'll line up again. And then, check this one out. If you press Y, Tochi Muite. So, they'll turn toward you. And then for poses, you can press different arrows. And you'll notice the poses are different katakana words. Those are the different spells. So the spell we learned is meta. Meta na pose. Let's do that. Let's do that pose. And let's take a picture. What is that sparkle in the background? Yeah. So we got a picture. Kono no. Would you like to save this picture? We can say hi or ye. Shashin is picture hozon. To save, we'll say hi. Oh, right, is it the plus? My bad, yeah, it's the plus. But you could get there too by pressing uh, the up button on the D pad. So the plus works as well. Cool. Yeah, before I press the plus. So this is a great view. So I think, and we made the top, we made our goal. I think we will end the stream here today. So everyone who joined, all the subscriptions, all, uh, everyone who came from Reddit and Twitch. Minna, Otsukurai-sama deshita. Kyo wa tanoshikatta. Ja. Mata ne. So I will say ja. Mata. We'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully we'll stream again tomorrow at the same time for the continuation, 5 o'clock central time. Anyone else who wants to join, feel free to follow. This will be on YouTube too, so feel free to subscribe there on YouTube as well. So, ja! Matane, see you guys next time. We'll end the stream here. Go deeper 
into Japanese Quest deeper into the game. We'll level up in Japanese Quest. We'll level up, hopefully, in Japanese too. Everyone who answered questions today, thank you. Uh, wow, we have 90 viewers right now. That's almost a new high for us. We have got over 100 just one other time. Getting me excited to learn again? That's the hope. To kind of light some fires. There's a phrase in Japanese, kokoro ni hiyo tsukeru. Kokoro means heart, he means fire. Tsukeru, to, to light a fire, means to light a fire in the heart. The hope is that for someone here, we can maybe light a little fire. Let's make a fire here. We can light a fire. Sorry, my stroke order might have been wrong. But uh, you get the idea. We got a fire here. And maybe for a man... Archwish. Perhaps a fire can be lit in your heart just a little bit. It means to be inspired. But I like the words. Kokoro ni hiyotsuke. Literally to light a fire in the heart. The cool thing about fires in the heart is that it spreads. So anyone here... If you're inspired by something you saw today, or if you're inspired by games combined with learning a language, we can spread it to other people, and let's spread it beyond just this channel, beyond Japanese Quest. That's one hope that we have here on Japanese Quest. So, ja! Matane! Oh, nice! Last protagonist wrote it. Kokoro ni hiyotsukeru. Maybe I'll add that to our sentence list as well, since we have not really written that in chat before. So today, we always uh, host someone. We host someone who's a Japanese teacher, and uh, I'm thinking today, well, I think we gotta host Noaria, because she's playing Dragon Quest X. Different Dragon Quest game, uh, great streamer, We're, we will host her, she uh, also learn Japanese, and she what she does is she translates games into English as she plays them. Um, awesome streamer. If you have questions about Japanese, you can ask her. So we will host Noaria, jump into a different world of Dragon Quest. So, ja! Matane, we reached 100 viewers today, really? Golden Flame? So I guess maybe we got a new record, potentially. I see a notification, so possibly a new benchmark was crossed. Thanks, Golden Flame, for that comment. <laughs> And you were also right, Fudo Force. Fire in the heart could be dangerous. Sa! Ashita mo aimashou. Let's meet together again tomorrow, same time, 5 o'clock Central Time, 7 a.m. in Japan time. Ja! Matane! Ashita mo nihongo de boken shiyose. Ja! Matane! See you guys next time.